welcome to MG Tracy. So you're probably more familiar with me running you through how to get the best out of your coffee machines, but in these strange times where actually bread can be a little bit tricky to get hold of, um, I have got down my trusty Russell Hobbs. And this, love it, it's been in the loft for about 10 years. Um, but it's back in service now, as so we could do with a hand in making some more bread here in London. So um, I'm going to be using this one. Uh, right, premium white bread mix, but whatever you can get hold of is fine. I'll put some links below if you need to get hold of these ones. So actually we're going to um, make, uh, oh, this is a 500 gram pack, and we're going to make a two pound loaf. So you will need some butter, your bread mix, and some warm, but not boiling water and not cold either. The temperature of the water is really important to get the bread underway nice and quickly. So for this particular one, we're using 320 milliliter water. That's just under half a pint. So I'll take you through some of the simple bits and pieces if you've not used a bread machine before. But it's a piece of cake. Well, a piece of bread anyway. So if you've not used a bread making machine before, don't worry, it's, it's as easy as using a coffee machine. Basically you've got a countertop oven that's computer controlled and it does some other functions that maybe an oven wouldn't do. So inside you have your basket, your sort of bread loaf thing, and you can see it has a, a little piece in the bottom that does all the hard work, all the kneading. Uh, and then this is really an element and a timer. So when I'm setting this, I'm using the basic uh, program on here, but I do select dark. That's just so that maybe the bread is a little bit browner on the top. Otherwise, on some settings, white bread can look a bit anemic to be honest out of a bread machine. So that is telling me that that's gonna take three hours 25. One of the other amazing things of bread making machines, and again, it has a similarity to coffee, is while it's making, the whole house smells of bread. And if you've not had that smell before in your house, it's probably worth doing it just for that. So, you won't find this anywhere in any of the um, books, but what I do is I rub a little bit of butter just on the inside of this pan, and that actually means getting the bread out is a lot easier. And um, you can use some marge if you don't have any butter. I think butter just helps give it a nice crispy finish. I'll just wipe some of that in there. Sure we've covered all the bottom there. Some of my early ones were very difficult to get out of this. It is a non-stick surface, but this definitely helps. So there we are, we've got a nice bit of butter all the way in there. So I tend to do this not in the bread machine in case it's a bit messy. So you need to just open your packet of flour. Now this is going to be messy. So this is a 500 gram packet of bread mix. So it already has the yeast and everything else in it that you're going to need. Just open that up. Paper, so it can go in your recycling, no waste. I'll put the links below where you can get all this stuff. Okay, so we've got our flour in. Now we'll add our 320 mils of water in there. And one other thing I do, I do tend to give that a bit of a gentle stir rather than let the machine do it from scratch. So don't use something's metal because you're going to start scratching the inside. But I just give that a little gentle mix round just to help the machine get started. Um, if not, what you can find is the corners of the bread will be a bit powdery. They'll still be a bit floury. This way you can at least make sure that all the flour is wet and it's sort of underway. So if you look at that now, that's about right. It's quite sticky. We can see we've got our uh, little beater in the bottom there. Whee! <laughs> there. So let's just get all that flour off onto that. Was a better way of doing this when you go to chef school. Right, there we go. Well, right, I'm gonna wash my hands again. Okay, so we now have our mixture ready to go. I'm gonna dock that in the bread maker. You should get a nice positive click. There we go. 
make sure you put your handle down. When you come to get that out, remember, that is incredibly hot, that handle. It's in the oven, so you will need to wear oven gloves. I'm gonna just drop the top down. Um, I've set this to a one kilogram weight, a dark color. I've gone for basic, which is white bread, really. So that means the whole system takes three minutes, 25. All it is now is start. And you should better hear that already the machine has started whirring away there. And it's now gonna go for the first part of that cycle, which is kneading the dough and getting it ready. Then it will, the next part of it, it will let the dough rise. You get on some machines a bleep. Now that second bleep in about 40 minutes to an hour's time is when you could add some other ingredients. If you wanna put a bit extra cheese or you wanna put some sun-dried tomatoes and you can do it then. Then it will have one more little mix up then it will rise and then basically it will bake it but you don't have to touch it and if you're not adding anything extra in you can now literally leave that machine come back in three and a half hours and uh, it'll be ready to go so through the wonders of youtube uh, we'll have a quick look in the top and then they'll come back uh, later on today and we'll have a look at how our bread has turned out safety tip here the first time you use your machine these are sometimes like a washing machine on spin dry at some of the cycles so they can vibrate a bit so don't leave it near the edge of the floor because it could easily move and fall off so um, this one is pretty stable now but just make sure yours is before you leave it and go and do something else so uh, welcome back so we've now got um, 54 minutes left and you can see that the bread has sort of risen. Oh, I don't know if you can make that in there. So that's looking really, really good. Uh, and now it's basically baking. So there's the most awesome smell of fresh bread in the room. And uh, in less than an hour, we can have a look inside. Stay with us. Okay, so we've just had about eight bleeps and you can see from the time it's ready. Now remember this is very, very hot. So we're just gonna gently open this now. Ooh, oh, look at that. That's impressive. So that is really nice. So Quite exciting. That's good, okay. So I'll just get my oven gloves on now and we'll get that one out. Okay, remember, this is an oven, it's hot. So we're just gonna grab the basket now. And that just comes out. Put that down for a second and shut the lid of the oven because that's really quite warm. That's now turned off at the wall. Out of the way. Right now we just need to get our bread out. A little, little bit difficult. Do you need to ease it out with a knife or something? I think so. Oh, did it come out? Are you ready? Oh, hang on. Here we go. So I just keep wiggling oh, it and shaking it until it comes out. Wow. And you should still have your little beater in the bottom of there. That one's oh, yeah. got stuck in the bottom of the loaf, which I didn't know. Oh, that's, that's why we've had trouble getting it out, I think. Yeah, so there we are. It's nice and crispy. Wow, that's And uh, you can always tell by just a good tap. Oh, that's right. It should make a hollow sound, yeah. shouldn't it? And we had it selected on dark, and you can see it's been given a bit of a, a darker texture. But that is still a white loaf. Um, we'll have a go, I think, next time at doing a mixed grain loaf and seeing what that is. Oh. So anyway, I shall put the links below. Yeah. So if you want to get yourself a bread machine or any of these um, mixes, it's pretty easy to make bread. And that needs to stay there now for a few hours to cool down. Don't try and cut it now because it will just be a bit too doughy. So just let that cool down nicely. So please like, share and subscribe and come back here every day for more fun that you can do in lockdown. This is Paul from London saying cheerio. This bread smells amazing. I can't wait to try it out.